We know that as baptized Christians, we are all called to holiness in Jesus Christ. The call to holiness, we can think of it as our one unified, universal vocation. We are all called to holiness, which means we are called to live a life that is pleasing to God and to live a life that is pleasing to God would mean that we choose in this life to love. To be a person who chooses to love is to be a person who reflects the divine image. God is love. We are made in the image of God, hence we are created by love for the sake of loving. And that love must extend first to God, then to our neighbors, our brothers and sisters. And that love must extend in a humble and a holy way to our very selves. If we begin here with the choice to love, we will then begin to radiate outward all the other virtues and attributes of holiness that are so pleasing to God. We will become people of simplicity and kindness, gentleness, and patience. We will grow in spiritual maturity, which will call us ever deeper into lives of living faith and enduring hope. We will become people who choose peace over division and strife. We will stop being so critical of our brothers and sisters and start becoming a bit more introspective. In other words, we will do as Jesus has told us to do when he says, take the plank out of your own eye before you go to take the splinter out of your neighbor's eye. We're called to holiness. I was recently helping to clean one of the rooms in our rectory here, a room where there are a lot of odds and ends stored away. And I came across a very interesting looking plate. It was rather shiny black color. And it was difficult to tell because of the color and the feel, what type of metal is this? It had a rather interesting look, but the more I studied it, the more I began to question whether this was supposed to be this particular color. Well, I found some metal polish and I began to gently wipe the plate. It remained black, <laughs> no matter how long or hard I tried. I began to wipe with more strength and more. And just as I was about to give up in you know, thinking perhaps this is indeed the color of this tray, I was just about to give up when quite slowly, tiny bit of that black began to dissolve and a tiny flicker of light began to show. I continued cleaning and then a bit more and slowly it became quite clear 
This plate was not made of a black metal. It was a beautiful silver tray with delicate etchings engraved all around it. Looking at the brilliant radiance of that beautiful, delicate tray and thinking how completely different it appeared to be when it was covered in that shiny blackness of years of tarnish, I thought how we, we were made radiant, beautiful in the divine image and how sadly we turned away from God in the Garden of Eden and we became disfigured and tarnished to the point where we were unrecognizable. The original plan was that we be radiantly beautiful and our turning away from God sent us hiding in the dark, frightened, alone, separated from God. In Christ, we have been restored to the truth of who we really are and what we are called to do. We are made in the radiant image of God and we're called to live lives of holiness that we might indeed shine brilliantly in the light of God's divine and merciful love. Mary, our mother, Mary alone knows what it is to bear the radiance of the divine image as God has always desired. And it is Mary, our mother, who will help us all to shine with a radiant holiness. Mary will help us to be all that we were ever created to be. And she will help us to remain holy and pleasing in the sight of God. With our hand in hers, with our hand in the hand of our mother Mary, we need never fear that the dark tarnish of sin will cover up the divine light within us. She is our mother and she is with us to love and to protect and to lead us all home to God. And because of all of this, we say thank you. Dearest Mother, thank you. Our dearest Mother of perpetual health.